welcome to the NPTEL module uh, on uh, on uh, handling uh, large scale unit level data uh, using Stata. It is one of the unique you know, module so far as social science is concerned, where uh, we will be discussing the length and breadth of uh, understanding unit level data in the Indian context. Uh, so, therefore, uh, our title is, uh, is, is defined accordingly and this is, uh, is, is very much fitted to the MOOC schedule, MOOC program of NPTEL uh, as part of the MHRD initiative. Uh, so, it is actually uh, mentioned in the SOYAM program. So, uh, let me uh, give you a, a background to it, little background to it in addition to my own uh, you know field on it. So, my name is Dr. Pratap Mohanty, I am a faculty member at the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences, IIT Roorkee. I used to deal with uh, unit level data and particularly called large scale unit level data, I have already uh, handled some of the uh, you know um, professional module on this aspect and uh, particularly processing the unit level data or you may say extracting unit level data then processing then you know decoding then mining to some extent and with the final process we usually go to the extent of interpreting the data otherwise it is completely meaningless especially in a society where there are large number of uh, you know uh, multi uh, or, or, or you, you may say multiplicity of problems, number of conflict of interest, we are actually puzzled with uh, the correct direction for any particular context to draw certain inferences or conclusion, especially I am referring to the policy uh, context. So, those who are in the ministry or uh, formulating policy, they do require uh, inferences from the actual data. Now, question arises, what do you mean by data? How should I uh, start discussing about data? Whether any individual just saying any narratives or just interpreting narratives is called data or a structure or, or a systematic presentation is called data. So, there are you know, large number of uh, confusions on these particular aspects. So, therefore, uh, the, the, this particular module called handling large scale unit level data is, uh, is, is very trivial in, in the present day's research, especially for the uh, PhD students, for the professionals and also for the business classes or the corporate houses. Because let me give you one example in this context. Like suppose one com corporate, one company called FMCG, one fast moving uh, consumer goods segment, they just simply wanted to understand their products to be uh, marketed in a particular uh, location. How do they know that their product uh, has uh, you know uh, potential demand? You know, unless and otherwise they do not uh, check the uh, field reality, especially the socio-economic and demographic background of the individuals in that particular uh, locality, they may not come to a conclusion of how much to be sold. Uh, of course, it requires uh, number of uh, extrapolation, interpolation, number of uh, techniques to uh, derive the exact result for interpretation like elasticities of demand or even supply. So, those are little advanced aspects of moduling the data. So, now we are actually targeting ourselves to the proper and systematic or structured order of a particular data, so that some, some interpretation and conclusion can be derived. Now, so therefore, our module is developed because you know our model module is actually uh, attracting these segments, these stakeholders because of the fact that you know handling these unit level data in a single platform is actually missing. There is no holistic approach by any particular institution or by the ministry which gives a st uh, systematic direction to the management of this kind of data. Okay. 
So, even neither uh, in the YouTube platform nor in a single uh, digital platform uh, where students are actually motivated or guided completely to understand the unit level, uh, large scale unit level data. So, in this pretext, I wish to introduce the, the complete direction of this particular course. This course is actually framed is understanding the unit level data, uh, particularly uh, national sample survey of some rounds and uh, India's human development survey called ISDS, there are two rounds, uh, in fact three, but we will be dealing with two and uh, another one is internationally famous, these are actually called internationally acclaimed data, particularly for surveyed in Indian context. Uh, another one is uh, in, 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 in the context of health issues called uh, NFHS, National Family Health Survey as part of the demographic health uh, system uh, or demographic health survey data. Now, so uh, the module is actually structured into uh, 8 weeks and in the 8 weeks we will have different sections like we will understand first what is called data, what are the different setups, what are the structure of data, then uh, we will understand how to extract the data, then we will also understand how to mine those data, okay, which are the uh, layouts and how those layouts are actually interpreted, uh, how we can filter, if there are some missing values also, how we can you know uh, simplify those missing values and convert to a right interpretation. Then in addition to do, do that, uh, we also added, added certain uh, sections called factor analysis and uh, understanding regression tools like understanding uh, the linear regression approach and also non-linear regression approach. So, majorly it is uh, confined around linear and uh, within the linear, we will first of all check certain you know basics uh, before introducing the linear regression and its interpretation. We will identify multicolarity, we will talk about heteroscedasticity, we will also discuss you know pooling of the data, we will also discuss panel form of it. Okay. So, probably I mean not probably actually it is the fact in our last module is on understanding panel and fold. So, those are uh, overview of our entire segment. Now, on the very first lecture, we, we wanted to discuss about what do we mean by uh, unit level data. Okay. So, so, the first class is therefore, defined as introduction to data, then our second class will be on unit level data. So, then what do you mean by data? What is data? So, now as, as you can see from this picture, uh, these are actually going to be used throughout our entire entire module. So, these are going to be used like if you see it here uh, we have ISDS, here we have uh, panel component, here we have extraction, here we have uh, stata use and uh, we have NSS data, we have some append issues, we have some merging techniques normalizing data so that we can make more representative and can be you know uh, discussed in different context. Okay. So, now so let us talk about data in, in a different form. So, data is actually called a gathered of information or figures, facts, statistics used for references or analysis. Now, so far as uh, data is concerned, uh, we interpret as, as, as called information in numerical form which are digitally transferred or processed. Data are generally uh, centrally thread and leading with certain forms of information. Okay. So, therefore, it is called thread, central thread of any activity. And uh, data is actually interpreted as numbers, characters, symbols, images and which can be processed by a computer or with a digital platform. So, we have mentioned here that uh, you know I mean it, it is a, in fact a circular process, it start with the individual, it ends with the individual. You know we start with certain information or extract information from the particular individual, there are characteristics from the individual and we get the raw form and then so therefore, this arrow is important, 
we 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 uh, you know find uh, the raw information then we structure it through uh, certain inputs to the computer and uh, with certain techniques with certain tools the computer generate uh, you know relevant outputs from the output we again interpret and narrate the story or narrate the information for certain purpose and those purpose are actually useful for the consumer or here we, we define as users so it is a circular process okay so data starts with the person ends with the person okay so this is very very important so far as data is concerned now what else are are are, are important uh, on the very first or, or beginning of our lectures so data uh, must be interpreted by a human or a machine to derive meaning else data is simply meaningless if you don't derive any uh, uh, you know meaning out of it maybe through the human or through the machine if no systematic meaning or information is derived it is simply meaningless okay so it is not called data so basically what do you mean here we we actually say it is you know it is uh, interpreted as meaningful information okay now for example we have uh, some data may be uh, structured here uh, you can look at like yes yes no no yes no again 75 82 any number digits are given if it is not systematically presented there are number of question marks okay we do not derive any uh, interpretation out of it so none of these data sets actually explain meaning or give any meaning until they are given in a context or processed into a useful form or if they are not actually discussed correctly these are not usable all right so understanding the nature of data is most fundamental uh, for proper and effective use of statistical skills here we carry one sample screenshot of the very latest data set as i just discussed couple of minutes back that our data uh, you know why we meet for introducing such a you know module for mooc program because of the case that there are lots of hue and cry related to the recent evidences on employment and there are a number of questions targeted to the government relating to uh, policy failures especially on employment issues it has been uh, argued and debated that the government is going by 45 years low employment why should i believe as a researcher if any information is coming and criticizing the government not necessarily, necessarily as a researcher I will simply believe. I have to find a scientific root to it, scientific understanding to it. So what do you mean by scientific here? Scientific is through the original information collected from the data, uh, collected from the persons. Now what do you mean by original information? As if you know if a person, uh, there, there, are, there are two uh, way of de defining originality. One is as if the person is directly observing, another is now the person is not directly observing but there are set of institutions which observe the data and uh, refine the data, interpret the data so that we can believe their interpretation because the methodology they adopted is actually very systematic and they have minimized all possible errors. So errors I mean I am referring to you know sampling and non sampling error the uh, the statistical division of our country mainly referred to as mosp which is responsible for collecting the unit level, level, level data at a large scale mosp called ministry of statistics and program implementation mosp and this is one of the best database in the world so far as coverage by its variable by its number is concerned Okay. So, and this has been you know very correctly uh, checked and observed by our different statistical division of the country and uh, they, they validate the data by various forms. There are various reasons by which we may believe that this is one of the authentic, authentic data source for the individuals. Now, I am referring here the latest data set called PLFS, PLS periodic labor force survey to, uh, you know studied in the year 2017-18. And now this is the database called the most important source for understanding employment scenario in India. And usually the earlier rounds of the uh, data set uh, is, uh, used to be defined as, uh, as employment and unemployment survey. 
okay. And uh, now they have changed the name to PLFS. So, we will clarify those details while we will we'll have a separate section uh, on, on NSS. And at this moment, I am just introducing uh, why we, we uh, you know go for this kind of digits and what those digits represent. So, now you can see this is a, a, a this is the snapshot from the original data surveyed by government of India in the year 1718 and ex, uh, uh, mentioned in a note file or in ASCII format these are called ASCII format or note file uh, note uh, notepad format. This has different byte space I am just mentioning in dot form different byte space okay, with certain blanks in between and the byte space and uh, or, or the uh, byte space actually represents certain characters of the particular person. Now, these are actually particular individual on the row different individuals on the column usually we consider the information regarding uh, the different uh, variables. Okay. And also in added with usually the beginning characters are defined as unique characters you know which is similar in all the individuals or all, all the blocks. At the later parts the later part will explain all those things in detail later, but at this moment I am just introducing. Now, if this is the data set given by the ministry and if I am a student of a student of PhD pursuing PhD I wanted to understand the nature of the labor force in our country. Okay. So, how should I go for it? So, our mod module is going to give you a systematic presentation of all those digits and their by space. Okay. In our due course of time, we will we'll certainly emphasize everything in detail. Now, on our third lecture actually we'll, we are going to discuss the first part of this notepad file. Now, let us understand how to process it usually which form we uh, do process data. Now, uh, these are actually called raw data which I have shown you are called raw data and any operation or set of operations performed using raw data whether or not by automatic means such as collections, recording, organizations, adaptation, storage or alteration uh, to convert it to a meaningful information uh, is defined as a useful information. Okay. So, usually there are three pillars, pillars of processing first is input then processing then output some examples are there in the inputs maybe of different uh, uh, you know uh, informations are there for our, for our understanding we may have these are the inputs we may sort it we may combine we may enter certain mathematical relationship mathematical equation to combine or arrange and accordingly we interpret the data with our outputs uh, so <coughs> so information uh, actually uh, uh, is important systematic information is important. So, therefore, data needs to be turned into a meaningful information and uh, so the information is the result of processing. Uh, now, for example, if you have a number called uh, 22001992, so does it mean anything unless we divide it and, and, and interpret in different order. So, actually just by this number there is no meaning of these numbers without processing. Okay. So, it may be a birthday, it may be uh, you know uh, composing of an account number, may be an Aadhaar card number, may be an ATM card number. So, therefore, uh, systematic presentation is required. Let us have an example if the raw data composed of 4.9, 5.2 like this and so on. If we uh, put it in uh, you know certain interpretation with variable called height, height of the employee in a particular industry then it gives certain num, uh, meaning just 4.9, 5.2 actually meaningless unless we do not uh, name it or unless we do uh, we do not you know, code it with a particular uh, information like height. Now, average height may be meaningful, median height may be also meaningful uh, okay. and if you make it in a group uh, which height has you know highest frequency that is also I mean if you go by certain modal value to which all that will also be important. So, uh, processing and generating certain output is actually uh, converting to a meaningful uh, information. Now, how how you we use data ok. So, data can help us strengthen our argument and data such as uh, statistics demographics can help us analyze trends relationship uh, especially in economic, social, cultural and biological processes influencing population. 
uh, usually these are uh, you know uh, important for for representing our population and a large segment can be uh, interpreted and discussed so data actually transfers abstract information into somewhere meaningful information and those we have already discussed so in the context of unemployment uh, we are interested to understand their age, their uh, gender, their education, there are blah blah other information. Now, data are actually sometimes or often the case converted in string form, you know in the raw data or even uh, after processing also we will see certain string form. What do you mean by string form? It is a combination of uh, numbers as well as letters. So, we have given certain example of uh, string form, these are also called alphanumeric you know uh, data. Suppose, I say I have a dog you know uh, uh, and a b c 1 2 3 and so on, these are in string form I will show you in the exact shape or uh, in our Stata software. This is uh, our uh, you know snapshot from the original data of PLFS uh, and uh, where uh, uh, original data uh, of one of the rounds of the NSS, where uh, the 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 you know uh, the data set gives certain information. If you click somewhere here, in a box it is being clicked or it is clicked. Now, if you want to check on your own, I suggest that you install Stata. You request a uh, demo version from the Stata software. Okay, you get the user for maybe one week, maybe for uh, you know uh, maybe for one month. Okay, and whichever way they cooperate, you go through that and try to install from the beginning. You will find out this type of layout, uh, okay, this type of pattern and uh, this is the data uh, storage pattern in Stata, where if you open that box, you will have these informations. Yeah, I have clicked here, now the arrow mark shows that it is written as STR30, STR30, STR stands for string, okay, string 30. That means, 30 space, 30 character space is actually occupied in that particular box, in that particular uh, you know, column. So, beyond 30 is not allowed. So, now you can see uh, uh, next to that uh, a format is written called 30 percent, percent 30 is, is written. That is out of the total space, 30 percent is occupied with our information as per the uh, data of NSS. Okay. So, other details we will uh, understand and uh, you, know, um, you know go through it in our successive module. Now, let us understand what other forms of data are there. One we have already discussed called string, second one is called text data. Now, text data are uh, defined, uh, text data are defined as sentences, paragraphs uh, used in a written communication. And, uh, these days in, 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 in different format of research, people call it as metadata after simplifying the data, processing the data, they uh, express uh, in a form called metadata. Metadata is also called data of data and uh, these may be uh, though expressed here in a pyramid shape because of their information. If it is text, we have to actually make it in a certain shape. So, that we will say that very less percentage of them who talks about this variable. Uh, some uh, of them may talk about doc document collection, okay. there may be you know a larger set related to the last variable, okay. there are various aspects. Some information of the text data can also be extracted through a, a web link is given here uh, called uh, you can download the software called WEPT, 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 where some you know uh, basic keys are very, very useful in uh, getting information related to text data and their uh, research. Now, other forms of data uh, are called image data. Now, it is quite uh, you know understood to everyone, I do not spend much time from various form maybe from pie chart, from bar chart, line diagram, we have lots of information related to uh, image related uh, discussion. Okay. So, accordingly many uh, uh, interpretation could be made. Now, another set is, is called uh, uh, audio data and uh, audio data I think you might have seen in uh, different uh, songs. Uh, in different you know uh, volumes, it, it has different amplifying effect and those frequencies are actually important and they do control those frequencies. Okay. If the frequencies is, is in a balanced format, that means your voice is actually uh, recorded very correctly. So, I am just giving a you know uh, interpretation here. 
Now, let us come to the uh, discussion on types of data after understanding different uh, forms of data uh, and its background to data and why we uh, try to uh, relate to data of large scale uh, in nature. Uh, now, we are discussing different uh, types and their structure. Broadly, it is divided into qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative data is largely used by the researcher from the field of social sciences, okay, especially the sociologist and anthropologist, because many informations are not coded or codified. Okay. We cannot have numbers of it. Some phrase of uh, the analysis, like you know, some person is narrating uh, his or her story, okay. the story itself the two three lines are actually uh, the code not just a single number can be in interpreted from that particular uh, phrase okay so the story itself carry a qualitative information so for our simplicity we can make it into uh, different forms of data now therefore we are discussing you know why qualitative and how these are useful in our analysis and how nss or or, or uh, isds or nfhs has, uh, have dealt those qualitative information Though they are qualitative in nature, but we will explain in terms of quantitative explanations. Okay, so, that is the beauty of the data set. Now, qualitative data are generally called categorical data or attribute based data. And these are, uh, these, uh, these are generally for example, uh, marital status, marital status then uh, belong to a political pa party, eye color and gender of a person. Okay. Uh, gender for example, if I say uh, 1.2, it does indicate nothing. Okay. Gender is 1.2, either we say a complete number 1, 2 or even any number if you say, but beyond that 3, 4, I think it is not defined. But if you interestingly, if you, uh, if you search in uh, Facebook, there are 17 variety of gender defined, 17 varieties of gender defined. Now, look at how qualitative uh, informations are actually discussed, okay. not just two or three transgender, uh, beyond that various forms of gen gender related information can be defined. Now, let us come to the discussion on quantitative aspects. Quantitative are generally uh, of two types discrete and continuous. So, discrete ha uh, are generally you know counted, these are called counted items and continuous are having you know certain uh, major characteristics. So, uh, now if you uh, discuss those things in, in another approach in mathemat through their mathematical properties, we said uh, nominal, uh, ordinal, interval and ratio broadly they are called NO, NOIR nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio and they are ordered uh, with their increasing accuracy, powerfulness uh, of their measurement, preciseness, wide applications especially in statistical techniques. Nominal data means names or count uh, data are alphabetic or numerical uh, in name only so far as nominal is concerned okay and they are uh, category uh, i mean uh, they are categorizes uh, without order or direction there is no such direction so far as nominal is concerned okay like you know as i told you uh, for uh, for gender gender there is no direction male or female whether male should be uh, cate uh, coded as one or female should be coded, coded as one. Uh, so, there is no, no clear direction on it. If you are doing it for one every time for male, probably you are committing some mistakes while interpreted, uh, interpreting. So, we must be very careful enough where to give which uh, level of weight. But if you are simply taking you know code by one and two, but I have taken an average of it, actually certainly it will be biased towards two. Okay. So, average is not at all meaningful. Okay. So, we must be very uh, cautious of, of you know, coding those data and, and their interpretations accordingly. And the central tendencies of the statistical technique used in those regard is very, very important. So, therefore, they are least powerful in measurement with no arithmetic origin uh, 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 or order, direction or distance relationship. Now, this is the example of nominal data. I have already discussed those. You may go through this. Uh, so, <coughs> ordinal data are usual of rank and order, it has a clear ordering uh, of the particular uh, you know, context uh, like for example, if we put it uh, the ordinal data, this is very, very useful for inequalities measurement because it has a clear ordering. 
uh, the uh, no, uh, ranking of a person is a order order data wealth of a person if is indicated in a ranking uh, called ord ordinal data and so relative position of those data is very very important and it has no absolute value because it is an ordering no question of absolute value is defined so example of ordinal data is like first second third position of a person economic status as i discuss so and so forth uh, for further understanding now other two categories are interval and, and, and ratio data, the interval data is, is, is important because you know there are some data defined to be in interval form and no, uh, no absolute 0 is actually defined so far as interval is concerned since we are sticking to interval. So no question of uh, you know uh, uh, absolute 0 is defined, interval are more powerful than ordinal scale due to equality of intervals. So uh, I think you might have seen this uh, temperature scale. Okay, and specially interval in that scale is very very important. And last one to be discussed in this particular first exam, first lecture is on ratio data. Ratio data is generally called widest application in statistical techniques. It has absolute zero value, and zero has certain meaning to it. And uh, the uh, and let us come by example. If we talk about their uh, you know their height, they are you know weight of the person, and 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 um, uh, and, and the age of the persons, it is clearly given. And uh, you know the 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 age of the person is highlighted here very clearly. Now, what kind of scales are important for measurement? Uh, it is very indicative, very clearly mentioned which methods of measurement are very appropriate. Now, ratio scale data is concerned all the methods are important whereas, interval is little better than that of others ordinal is even better than that of the nominal. So, accordingly you can understand let me give you one example here average as I told you. Uh, uh, so, <coughs> arithmetic mean is applied in two cases similarly mean and mode you can find out on your own we will discuss these details in, uh, in our other uh, you know explanation. So, metadata has already discussed data about data we will take it forward in one of the sections uh, on this. So, let me you know uh, stop here uh, thank you so much.